Hello everyone and welcome back to This Day in History, our nightly looks back at a specific day in history where we take a look back at that day, the historical context in which the events took place, the historical ramifications of those events. We also take a look at some people that were born on that day and some people that died on that day. As always, if you have not yet, hit the subscribe button, the bell notification icon to be alerted anytime I post new content and please do tell a friend. And now, without any further ado, this day in history, March the 9th. And on this day, in 2011, Space Shuttle Mission STS-133, the final mission of Space, the Disco space Shuttle Discovery, uh, landed. And it ended the Discovery's lifespan as a operational space shuttle. Discovery spent the most time in space and was the first operational shuttle to be retired, followed by Endeavour and the Atlantis shuttles. It is currently displayed at the Smithsonian's ex um, institution in Washington, D.C. Um, the Smithsonian has two air and space museums in Washington. One is on the mall, and then they have a, a huge hangar out at Dulles Airport, um, and that is where the uh, space shuttle is currently located. Births that occurred on this day. Now, this next one, I am going to preface this by saying we don't always cover good people that were born on the day, and we don't always cover good people that died, and that is the case today with the birth. This person is a horrible human being, and we're going to cover them in that light. George Lincoln Rockwell was born in 1918 in Bloomington, Illinois. Rockwell was the founder of the American Nazi Party. Um, in 1955, he moved to Washington, D.C., and was becoming increasingly radicalized and had dreams of meeting Hitler. He had a huge Nazi swastika flag displayed in his house that anyone passing by could see. In 1959, he founded what would become the American Nazi Party. He would move into the headquarters in suburban Washington. Um, he was discharged from the Navy in 1960 due to his political views. Although he was given an honorable discharge, it was pretty apparent that Rockwell was essentially kicked out of the Navy. In 1967, he was assassinated by a former member of his party. The death did not come as a shock to members of his family who had suspected it would occur for some time. His father made a statement very similar to that when told of his son's death. His funeral as his life was a public spectacle, and the hearse carrying his body was almost struck by a train. Uh, Rockwell um, is one of those figures of American history, um, especially during this time, uh, that latched on to a very white-hot issue and um, made hate m somewhat mainstream. And you cannot talk about, I think, hate in America and extremist people in the post-war era without talking about Rockwell. Um, because he was heavily involved in the um, segregationist movement. He was very involved in anti-Jewish conspiracies. Um, he was very involved in uh, early anti-LGBTQ um, activities um, and was just a provocateur of hate and there is nothing redeeming about George Lincoln Rockwell. He was a horrible human being and a horrible person. And he should be covered in that light. Um, Rockwell um, would adopt the corn cob pot 
Um, to portray himself um, in the light of Douglas MacArthur. There's no... Um, he did support uh, MacArthur's underground run for presidency, but I've never seen anything uh, that said MacArthur uh, condoned uh, this type of activity. Uh, but uh, Lincoln Rockwell... Um, Deaths that occurred on this day. Uh, the notorious B.I.G. was killed in 1997 at the age of 24 in Los Angeles in a drive-by shooting. Um, he, of course, is a famous American rapper and considered one of the greatest of all time by many uh, rap critics and people that study that art form. Um, he died when I was seven years old. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Eight years old. Uh, so I don't have an opinion on uh, the Notorious B.I.G.'s work. I will just say this, that uh, huge musical influence on a huge segment of society, uh, the music industry. Um, there is a lot of speculation that he was involved in the death of Tupac Shakur. Uh, there's a lot of evidence that he was, and then there's a lot of evidence that says it's inconclusive and that he wasn't. Um, it's a whole raging debate online, and you can search it if you wish, and which, if you like. Um, I'm not here to give credence to one side or the other. Um, I'm just simply pointing out that that is an accusation that is made. Um, and like Shakur, he has had a tremendous amount of success uh, post-hominous. So, uh, the notorious B.I.G. Uh, shot and killed on this day in 19... 97. Y'all have a great night. I'll see you all tomorrow.